Then, Dave, can you answer? Um, could I could I say something first, Dale, just to augment what he said? Yeah, and a further distinguishing factor, and I think Mary would agree with this, between uh, between what we're doing here and then YF3 is uh, at the heart of the YF3 issue uh, between the Navy and the Water Board is how mobile, after decades and decades and decades, how mobile is this stuff? And is it, is, is it actually reaching into the bay or not? We know in this case that um, it is headed towards the bay and, and Miriam has said repeated times, uh, it's one of the Water Board's top priorities for this space because there's every reason to believe that the arsenic levels are heading right across the street here eventually, right into the bay. And they want, and, and that indicates that they believe, and the Navy agrees, right, that this arsenic is now mobile in the groundwater. At YF3, I don't think the Water Board and the Navy, um, we have agreed uh, that we are going to uh, gather more data, but we haven't agreed yet on how mobile, if mobile at all, I, I think the Water Board is leaning towards more they think it's signs of mobility of the TPH uh, moving further out to the site to the water, to the essentially San Francisco Bay. Um, and the Navy's not convinced of the mobility. If it, if it is truly immobile after this many decades, then the recommendations would be different than if there is confirmed mobility of the TPH. And one of the things that Miriam has raised in that is, well, I don't think the Navy's presented in the Slera, her position was, if I may say in my own words. I'm listening to you, I'll tell you. Right. Um, is that um, we don't think you've made a convincing enough case that this is a uh, low risk site on the bay and that no further data needs to be gathered. We don't think you've made a solid enough case. We think you need to go back and do more work. And I believe that's about where uh, the water board is at, and, and then very strongly um, commented, as you saw, well, I think that this, this uh, risk assessment document is not the end of the process. You need more data. We're not at all convinced that it's immobile yet. Uh, go out and gather more data, and we're not convinced that this, this site, YF3, fits the profile as a candidate for a low-level, low-risk site. Which, and low risk petroleum sites are handled separately and differently at the water board. So what, what Miriam and the water board have done is said, okay, Navy, we're throwing the ball back in your court. We don't, we don't think this is the end of it. So that's very different than here where there's a clear cut sign that there is some TPH that is definitely leading to very much higher levels of arsenic being soluble in the groundwater and therefore moving with it towards the bay, which are, they see as arsenic entering the bay as, as a threat to San Francisco Bay, and they would like us to do something uh, in the words of Alvin Novel sooner rather than later on that. So the two sites are different in that sense. Yeah, in the words of everybody, sooner than later. Pardon? In the words of everybody, sooner than later.